Hi, how are you doing? My name is Klaus and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this webinar today. I appreciate you joining me. In today's session, I'll show you four simple ways that I help my clients with to increase their revenue by an average of 24% without spending an extra cent on ads. My promise to you today is if you watch the webinar, you will get some really valuable tips. If you have questions, please email me at hello at klauslauter.com and I will personally help you for free. That is how confident I am that you will get some value out of it if you stay until the end. Now, let me briefly introduce myself so that you know where I got my expertise from and why you should be learning from me today. My name is Klaus. I'm originally from Germany, but I have lived in several countries. For instance, 10 years in South Africa, and right now I'm in Colombia. That would possibly explain my strange accent, and yes, I know that I sound to some people like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm a business coach and strategist. I'm a digital marketing expert and a seven-figure e-commerce entrepreneur with my own online stores. I have 20 years of hands-on experience in digital marketing. I've personally managed more than 3 million US dollars in ad spend on Facebook ads, on Google ads, Bing ads, and so forth. I have started and grown several business in different countries. I have built more websites than I can count and I have generated millions of dollars in revenue for service and product-based businesses. If it happens online, there's a fair chance, chance that I have done it, managed it, or trained people to do it themselves. Before we get started, just a couple of suggestions to help you to get most of your webinar experience. First of all, switch off your phone. Um, then turn off any internet-connected devices that consume bandwidth. Turn off your email and instant messaging for a bit and make sure that everyone around you, like your family or office members, know that you don't want to be disturbed. Please don't worry about taking notes. At the end of the session, I'll show you how to get a copy of the presentation. And now I know you're busy, so let's get right into it. So the first question is, who is this webinar for? This is for anyone who runs or is involved in a product-based business and wants to take action to build and grow their business online. That can be business owners, entrepreneurs, marketing and sales managers, pretty much anyone who is serious about taking action to build and grow their business online. So let me ask you a question. Does that sound like you? You're not getting enough results from your business. You do not get enough, get enough traffic to your website or online store. Your website or e-commerce store is not converting enough visitors into buyers, you're spending on paid advertising with little or no results, and maybe you see people in your industry making great money and grow their business and you wonder what they're doing, what you're not doing. And finally, you work very hard in long hours, um, you put everything you've got into that business, but you don't see it paying off at this point of time. I hear you, I have been in the same situation myself more than once, and I will show you how to get out of this. The turning point for me was that I decided to learn from successful people, um, successful e-com entrepreneurs and to find out what their secrets are. Um, then I decided to commit to sticking to this and not quitting until I saw results. And what happened was rather unexpected. I started doing the right stuff, my stress level dropped, my action showed finally results. You might have heard about this famous um, quote, half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. The trouble is I don't know which half. Um, that has been said by John Wanamaker. Um, you might feel like that, um, just throwing money against the wall and um, try everything out and then you try to figure out what sticks. So I was in the same situation. So let's get into the secrets how my clients increase their revenue without spending an extra cent on ads. Before I go into the secrets, just a reminder to stick with me all the way until the end, because if you do, you'll receive an exclusive bonus in a PDF workbook that has all the notes from this webinar, um, so you can go back and look at your notes. So you might know there's only three ways to grow your businesses. Um, first of all, get more customers, increase the number of leads and conversions, so more customers, more money. Um, secondly, from these customers, get more transactions, increase the number of times these com customers come back and buy from you. And finally, more profit per sales. That means increase the average value of a sale of an order and your profit margin. Um, so basically from the customers you get, you're just trying to sell them more. Um, not that they come only, but with every sale you try to sell them more. So now let's go into the first of uh, secrets. And you might have heard of that, but stick with me. I have some 
surprises for you um, that you might have not heard of. So retargeting, remarketing is a way to get customers back to your shop. Um, there's different ways to do that. Um, the most common is um, either paid retargeting. That means you have Facebook, Bing, Google ads um, that will be shown to people that have either been to your shop or have added um, products to their cards and then you just show them more ads and probably offer them a discount or something so that they should come back. Second is email retargeting. Um, most known is the abandoned card sequence or browse abandonment. They have a relatively high opening rate if you have the right subject lines. It can be between 20 or 30 percent, in some cases even higher. That means they have been to their shop, they started the checkout process, they left their email address and now they for some reason abandoned the checkout process. Now this email retargeting sequence now starts to send them emails and just remembering that they need to check out. They might have been disturbed for some reason and uh, they can't remember where they were, what kind of shop they were. So this email brings them back and hopefully they will then finalize their checkout. Next thing is push notifications. Push notifications um, are relatively good um, because whoever signs up for a push notification, and that's about 20 to uh, 15 to 20 percent of all people, will get the notification um, to come back and check out right on their browser window. Um, then we have messenger, re messenger retargeting, um, that means fa Facebook Messenger for instance. Um, relatively new, only around for like two, three years. Messenger retargeting has an amazing opening rate of 90%. Um, so people get that on their phone, on their messenger, or once they're logged in on Facebook and they see the, the information that they should come back and check out. And finally, SMS retargeting. So this has the highest return on investment and has also an opening rate of 90% and higher. Um, let me dive into the uh, details there and show you some numbers on how you can do that and um, how the results are and you will be astonished what kind of differences make if you take not one but all of these um, tactics and bring customers back to your cart. Okay, let's dive into some examples. First of all, starting with push notifications. Um, push notifications work quite well in regards of the opening rate. Um, you can expect about 15 to 20 percent opening rate because people see it directly in their browser. Conversion rate is relatively low. Um, I show you an example here. I don't actually have explicit numbers on the conversion rate from push notifications because this tool doesn't give me um, proper statistics. Um, but definitely one way to do is uh, to start with, and again, I think that's the lowest um, conversion rate, is push notifications on abandoned cart. Next on the list, AdRoll. Um, AdRoll is a provider for display networks. Basically, they serve ads on every platform that is not served by Google Ads or Google AdSense. With AdRoll that I'm using, and there's others, um, I see a relatively good conversion rate. Most importantly, you see here the return on ad spend is 6.8, which is quite high, and the CPA is relatively low. So definitely one way to do abandoned cart retargeting um, with a tool that shows your ad to visitors of your website, of your cart, and just follows them around on the interwebs. Now, this one obviously very common is Google. Um, same applies to Facebook ads. Um, basically, what we're using here is dynamic remarketing. So we're targeting everyone who has been on your cart and has for some reason abandoned the shopping process and did not check out. What you can see here is we have a conversion rate of 3.26%, which is higher than your average checkout rate on most of the online stores worldwide. Obviously, we're talking about warm traffic, hot traffic. So this goes a little bit higher. Same applies for Facebook, as I said. Um, <clears throat> so I skip to the next one. Now we're talking email marketing. Email marketing, obviously, this is one of the most known way of retargeting. That means once you have captured the email address in your card, um, you're sending the um, person a sequence of emails and um, try to get them back into the card into the shopping process and then basically to finalize um, their shopping and um, do their order. Now, there's a lot of testing, there's a lot of tricks to it. In general, email marketing, abandoned card email marketing and flows are very, very important. 
And you can see here, you reach quite a high um, conversion rate. So this is 17%. Um, this came with a lot of testing um, to get this that high. Most shops are more in this range. 6.7% is, is for most shops um, quite doable. Again, there's a lot of testing there to subject lines, to text, to add copy, and so on and so forth. But in general, um, email marketing um, using abandoned card flows works quite well. Now let's go to the next one. This one is retargeting on Facebook Messenger. That means everyone who has been on your shop, um, was signed into Facebook, will get a um, Messenger information node um, to come back and to check out. And you can see here we have <clears throat> quite a higher conversion rate of 20%. So this is even higher than email. And um, that works very well. You need to be careful. People are very sensitive when it comes to messaging them on Facebook Messenger. Um, so don't overdo it with the number of follow-up messages you do. Um, in my experience, two messages uh, is good. Um, if you send them three messages, um, you will get complaints. Um, and these complaints might lead that Facebook will block this for you. Um, so do two messages on Facebook Messenger um, to follow up on abundant cards, and you will see quite a nice conversion rate there. Now, finally, the winner is SMS text marketing. Um, something that is not new, SMS is around for ages, um, sort of um, yeah, a dying channel, which is coming back now. And these numbers that you see here on these automations are just completely insane, um, but they are average. Um, so don't be surprised to see conversion rates of 49% and higher. Um, so you can see here we have spent $39 and we made $2,090 on that specific shop. Um, obviously, that gives you a, a huge return on investment. But you can see here that the conversion rate is uh, more than double. It's two and a half times of what you get out of Facebook Messenger or out of email marketing. Now, what happens there is you send out one message, one message, maybe two. You don't, again, you don't want to overdo it. And um, what do people do when there is an SMS coming into their phone? They look at it. Um, SMSs, text messages are not coming up. And most people don't get them that frequent anymore. Um, so they look at it. And um, so you get a very, very high engagement. You need to be um, careful that you do the setup for SMSs the right way and also capture it because obviously there's some legal impl implications that you need to follow. Um, but again, um, when it comes to abandoned card recovery, SMS is by far the winner and everyone who has not in place is losing out of, on money. And um, yeah, so we definitely should look into this. So this was a little bit of overview on the different ways of doing abandoned card recovery. Um, there's also browse recovery, browser abandonment. Um, I will go deeper into that into my mastermind. Um, but I hope that this part is clear. And if not, then please let me know. So we're back into the presentation before we get into the next example. Next step is to get higher conversions. So the main question is how to convert your website visitors into paying customers. First and foremost, you need to understand who is your customer, who is your customer avatar, who are you targeting, um, what kind of profile does that person or this group of people have that you're targeting to. Um, I give you an under um, I'll give you a simple example on that one. Um, for instance, if you have an audience of people in their 60s. Um, they obviously not as internet um, savvy as somebody in his 20s. Um, also there, there are certain um, limitations when it comes to um, see your, your offer on the website. Um, for instance, if you have a website that has a light gray or a, a grayish kind of font, it might be difficult for them to read, um, especially if the font is like 
14 pixels or smaller. Um, understand, like at a certain age, you need reading glasses like me. Um, so you want to make sure that from the usability aspect is that your website is optimized um, so that your specific older audience will be easy um, or it will be easy for them to, to read the information and the offer that you provide them. Secondly, uh, understand your customer journey. So where they're coming from. Is it people that are using, coming back to my older audiences, uh, more desktop computers or maybe a tablet and not really using mobile phones um, to browse the internet. Um, again, brings us back to usability. Or is it a, a millennial um, target group that you're going there basically only using the, their mobile phones um, to browse the web? Um, so you need to keep that in mind. Um, knowing this, then you will optimize your customer journey. So you will optimize um, your artwork, um, your copy, and so on and so forth, um, that it speaks to your specific audience. Finally, you have to optimize, optimize your sales funnel or your e-commerce store for that specific person. Um, again, just the example with an older audience. If you have a flashy website uh, with sliders, uh, with autoplay videos, and things are just moving, that might be just an overload for an older person. Um, so you have to stick to more static um, things that are more clearly easier to consume. If you have a younger audience and they're used to all these flashy gimmicky things, um, they might be totally bored by something that is not moving. So you will need to put that into account and just optimize whatever your sales funnel is um, and then target with that your, uh, your target audience. Um, so for all the audiences, keep it simple, keep it straight, keep it si kind of boring. The younger audiences, keep it entertaining, um, make it fast, consume, um, you get the point. Now finally, once you have them on your shop, there's a lot of um, points that you need to look at um, to get the conversion right in to from, from, your, from your buyer. So there should be no roadblocks or any kind of things that make them think and um, then uh, drop off from your website. Now, in the ex next example, I will show you a, a simple checkout page from a Shopify store, actually from my own sh store. And uh, we'll go through the checkout page and I will highlight a few points um, that you might not know about it. And once I sh point it out to you, it will be becoming crystal clear to you why that is and why you should put that into your checkout page. So let's dive into that now. So now I'm going to show you a recording of my screen. And for that, I go into my own seven figure e-commerce store. And I give you an example starting from the product page with some tips um, that are referring to the customer journey. So now this product obviously is more targeted to females. It's, it's a purse. And um, on here, we sort of understand our customer and we offer as a cross sell um, an emergency alarm keychain and a wallet. Reason for that is that both are matching products um, that add value to the main product and the likelihood that the customer will add it to the cart is quite high. Another thing we have is here we offer priority processing. So basically it gets processed faster, which does not mean it gets shipped faster. And that's just another way for us to increase the, uh, increase the average order value. Now let's click the Add to Cart button and go to the cart. On the cart yourself, you see that we don't have any menu, any navigation up here. We want to have the customer strictly focused on the next step and that's basically proceed to check out. There's two buttons which work particularly well on mobile devices. Also, we have down here another sort of cross-sell where we offer shipping protection. So in case um, the delivery gets stolen, then it's protected and they will be refunded. Also down here, the information that we will pay the shipping, um, which is always very important. And then we get the customer to the next step. You see on the card page, there was nothing distracting, just confirming what they have basically chosen or have in their card and then just move them as quick as possible into the uh, checkout page. Now there's a couple of things on the checkout page. All of these things have a particular reason or a specific reason that is only there to convince them to check out and um, go into the payment process. 
First of all, up here you see we have our logo and um, here we have the information about our support. Um, that does not happen often that people come from here and request support, but they just want to have the information. They know that in case they want to um, contact you, that they know there is the information and you're not sort of hiding behind something or try to be anonymous. Um, this little lock up here um, just tells them that it is a SSL encrypted secure checkout. Um, especially older people, they want to see that. Um, just to know that if they enter their personal details and their um, payment card details that this is secure. We have a little bit of scarcity down here. So we say, okay, we have reserved your order. It's on high demand. So if you don't do it now, so it, it could be gone by the time um, you want to check out. So this little countdown timer here. Now, very important, um, people need to know why they should give you certain data or certain information about themselves. Um, especially older people, again, are, are very particular with, with their details. So for that, you can use this, what is called microtext. You see down here we have, it says email and then it says required for order confirmation. So basically you pl explain to them why would you need this information. Um, then you keep it relatively short, first name, last name, address. Um, you see here that we leave um, the second address and the company address. Um, we hide this. Um, it's not necessary for the delivery and um, so we just leave it away. So we'll make it as easy as possible. If you scroll down here, there's another micro text here which says phone for shipping notification and exclusive offers. Again, we want to have the phone number because we want to do SMS retargeting and as I spoke before. So for that reason being, um, we explain them what it is for. And <coughs> down here we have obviously exclusive offers and use via text messages and email. So this is just basically um, another tick of box that they um, accept our terms and conditions, um, especially when it comes to SMS. Then on the other side, you see here is reasons why they should buy from us. Um, so we have a satisfaction guarantee and we have successful shipping orders. And for this particular store, we have an information why we do not offer PayPal. What else you can add here is you can add um, information about um, customer testimonials, for instance. So you can have two or three um, customer testimonials of happy customers who bought your product. So all these little things are only there um, to convince the customer um, that is safe, um, that the process is secure, and to make it very, very easy. Um, also up here, you have this kind of um, flow up here where it says, where are they in the process of the checkout? Um, so you see, this is the second step. Next step, um, obviously we're asking for the shipping information, and the last step we ask for the payment details, for the credit card details. Now, being on this page, you see this is like a three-step process. This is sort of the standard process of Shopify. There's um, discussions if a one-page checkout is better than a th two- or three-step checkout. Um, I'm convinced that Shopify, as, as the biggest provider for um, a shopping platform, has tested um, the three-step process, process uh, in intensively. Um, so, but <coughs> there's no valid answer if a one page or a three page is better. Um, again, it brings us down to testing um, for your particular store what works better. Um, but nevertheless, if you have a, a, a three step checkout process or a one uh, one page checkout page, um, all these little micro texts and this little information down here um, just help you in increasing uh, your conversion rate. There's more, which is in my mastermind. Um, coaching and obviously with, with every of my coaching clients and I will go into that a little bit later in the webinar um, there will be a full digital marketing audit or assessment um, of what you have and what can be optimized to increase um, your conversion rates so that's it for now and um, let's go on with the next step Okay, back in the presentation gets us to number three. After we have brought our traffic back to the shop and our customers back to the shop, after we have optimized our customer journey and our 
checkout page and all the other pages that I have not spoken about yet, um, we look into more transactions. That means increase the number of times um, the buyer will buy from you. That means they have already bought, they're a happy customer, and you just want to sell them more. Um, increase the number of times for a customer. It's called customer lifetime value, CLV, or also called lifetime value, LTV. There's a number of ways on how to do that. Um, that can be win-back campaigns, for instance. Um, that can be done with building a, continu a continuity program, um, a subscription-based program. Um, that can be done uh, with the right message at the right time. And I will just dive into it and um, show you again um, some real-life examples on, uh, on the screen. So let's dive into that now. Now again back to the screen recording and I'm going to show you some ways on how to get um, visitors of your website and customers of your website um, back to your, your site um, and hope to make them uh, to get them buy more from you. Um, so one way to do that is with so-called win back campaigns. These win back campaigns can be either email based um, but you can do it also with messenger, with SMS. Um, so all these ways that you can use for retargeting, um, you can also use for win-back campaigns. Um, here I'm in Klaviyo, which is an email automation system, um, but you can also use a Weber or MailChimp or Active Campaign, whatever you use. Um, in all of them you can create flows. Um, that means these are automated email um, campaigns that start on their own once they reach a certain trigger. And for a win-back campaign, it would be a time span. So you can see here, um, after 30 days, or let's go into the details down here, after someone placed an order, 30 days after someone placed an order, and um, if they have an order in between, then they will get a sequence of emails. We do the same after 59 days. So if they haven't bought anything from us, within 59 days and we do the same after 80 days. So if the, after 80 days they haven't bought anything from us, they will get the next one. Obviously, if they decide to buy after 30 days, either from that um, or after 30 days and before 59 days, um, they will be excluded from these two flows. Um, so they won't get them. So basically they will be reset and then after another 30 days they get this first and so on and so forth. So now for the flow itself, I just click into that. Um, you'll see how that works. So basically what we do is we send an email after 30 days and say, hey, hooray, um, we just placed $5.25 into your, uh, as a store credit into your account and um, please go and spend it now. And then a day later we say, okay, um, this store credit was only available for 24 hours. Um, so go back now before your discount coupon um, expires and spend your $5.25. And this works quite well. And a lot of people uh, go for that because they think, oh, oh, I have money to spend, free money to spend. So they come back and spend the money. Um, this same flow we have also in SMS messages and in push and in um, Facebook messaging. So basically on the same days, same day, they will get the same information on different channels. And um, so just to push them into, oh, um, I have this money to spend. Um, the other two flows are pretty much the same. Um, we offer also there um, a bit of a higher discount to get them in. And um, the longer they have not bought from you, the less is the likelihood that they will buy. Um, so if you want to get them back, then you just increase to a 20 or 25% discount. So that's the one way. Um, the other way would be um, to increase the lifetime value of uh, your customer is to get them into some co kind of continuity program. Um, that might either be a monthly box that you ship out or something like that. So I'm going to send you, uh, I'm going to show you the example of Sportsman's Guide. Um, what they have is if you scroll down on their site, and I think it's very well done, and they do it for a long time. Um, so they have a lot of lot of subscribers to that. So basically they have a buyer's club. A buyer's club, um, they give them a 30-day free trial, and in that trial you already get some, some goodies. And let's go into that and see how it works. So you get a 
30 day trial membership and with that trial membership you got already 10% off in the free trial and 5% off of guns and ammo so let's see what they have overall on benefits so first of all if you're a member you don't need to add a code or something a discount code which is sort of a, a roadblock or a barrier for a lot of people um, works on all orders over $49 so they want to have you spending you at least $49 and once you're a member in the buyers club you get 10% on every purchase that you make um, get free shipping and you get a, a better payment plan and you get deals 20 30 up to 50 percent that other people don't get and um, instead of also on that um, you get a visa card and yeah so that's basically what it is um, so basically what they do is you pay 49 dollars or something for for the annual membership 49 50 dollars for the annual membership and with that you get all these kinds of benefits um, obviously people get a lot of emails from sportsman's guide once they are a member with all the membership deals um, but what they do quite cleverly here and let's just see if we let's go into boots maybe just to give you an example how they push it they do it quite clever again they do it for a very long time they know how it works um, so for instance look at this product these rubber boots um, on a lot of products um, people will immediately see the official price and the buyers club price so you say okay oh if I'm a, in a buyer club buyers club actually I save quite a bit of money so if you basically go in here and we select an option and um, add to the card they try to upsell us immediately to the buyers club so on the checkout page it says "Ooh, that's your price but if you become a member in, in the buyers club now then you save this and you get these additional benefits so this is a very good example of a um, membership program of a continuity program um, where you basically can get your customer back much more often um, now as a final example for increased lifetime value of a customer um, it is a recurrent order process um, that's pretty much used in a lot of um, niches like um, tea coffee um, supplements um, t-shirts and so on and so forth um, you, you know all these boxes that you can order um, so it's, it's, it's quite common um, but it's a good way to sort of um, get your customer um, to order just more uh, without having the work. Let me give you this example on this one. Um, on this page here, for instance, you see they are selling this um, vanilla protein vanilla thing. And what they offer here is either you buy a one-time purchase, you just buy it once, you add it to the cart and you're done. Or you, try, uh, you go on here and you s become a subscriber for this particular product. Um, while becoming a subscriber you get as, as a bonus um, you get the product first of all cheaper and you get free shipping um, so basically they say you get 15% savings and free shipping on all subscriptions there is no membership fee involved um, that only means that um, this particular product will be shipped out in a certain um, time interval so you see here they, uh, this is basically the full overview of um, becoming a, a subscription member, what they say. I would say it's a subscriber, not a member. So it's 50% off. It's a double rewards point. So they have a rewards program, obviously. And um, then you can cancel um, your subscription anytime. And then there is free shipping on all of these orders. So if we go on this one, it will ask us about how often should we deliver this for you. Um, so there's a delivery of one month, two months, three months. Um, so you can decide how often you want to have this. So this is another good way um, on how to increase your lifetime value of a customer and just to increase the overall revenue and hopefully the profit of your store. Okay, so we have been three now, now come to number four. Number four is actually um, a, a good one because there's a lot of things you can do. Um, number four is increase profit per sale 
more profit per sale. So increase the average order value of your order and with that you increase your profit margin. Um, average order value, also called AOV, um, you will see that all over. So you can do that with quite a number of things and I will give you examples um, when I go back on, on the live screen. Um, but just going through it quickly um, as, as a list is um, a few examples to do that to increase the average order value so but somebody's in your shop has decided to buy from something and then um, you try to make them to buy more so you can do that with upselling so basically you try to sell them a better variant um, of something um, with a better quality for instance and which obviously is more expensive so instead of selling the the simple blanket you sell them the extra fluffy blanket and tell them it's like don't take this take this this is um, just so much better obviously it's more expensive you can do cross-selling um, cross-selling means uh, you offer them something that is relevant relevant to the product that they're just going to buy best example is they buy some electronics and you try to sell them batteries um, very relevant they need batteries for the electronics um, but it can be anything else um, if you sell them I don't know uh, what I do a little a pouch um, for your belt pouch you try to sell them the belt um, what you know have seen back in the past is like you buy shoes that try to sell you socks on that or whatever so basically you try to bundle something together um, which absolutely makes sense and they say oh yes that makes sense and then I just put it into the cart and check out and you make more money next thing is free shipping um, people love free shipping um, but you can say free shipping is only over 50 or 60 dollars or whatsoever so they need to add more to the cart to get to this free shipping offer then obviously very very common is buy more save more you can do that with a discount letter um, basically saying if you buy for a hundred dollars you get 10 percent off if you buy for a hundred and fifty dollars you get 15 percent off if you buy for two hundred dollars you'd get 25 percent off so they try to get to the next discount level um, to save more or you can say buy one get one more so uh, b-o-g-o -O. i'll show you examples on that one um, then there's different points in the customer journey where you can try to upsell them or cross sell them um, that's either a post purchase upsell it will be something then they have already checked out and once they're on the um, thank you page or with the confirmation order confirmation email you say oh thank you for being a customer um, i give you 10 percent right now if you buy something now so just add something more and then they can go and buy more um, especially when they're in the mood of buying or you can do an in-cart upsell it means they're going to the cart and then you sell oh buy the um, shipping um, faster shipping for instance I will be an upsell um, you say okay instead of taking the standard shipping you buy the faster shipping option um, or you buy a sort of a, a guarantee on that or a warranty on that so there's there's a couple of things i will go to that in detail now and show you sec some examples um, how that can look like okay back to the screencast and i'm going to show you some examples of how to increase the average order value um, of your customer um, starting with this website called gear bunch so first thing they say orders over a hundred dollars ship free um, so that gives you uh, one way to increase your order to aver order average order value. People love free shipping. So you can always say um, over 40, 50, 60, um, whatever um, works best for you, they will get free shipping. Um, logic behind that obviously is people need to, if it's low cost items, they need to add more items to their cart and um, to reach the free shipping limit and um, with that they will increase the average order value another thing that gearbunch is doing quite well is a so count discount letter so the discount letter basically see what they do here is um, over a hundred dollars um, you get free shipping if you order more than two hundred dollars you get twenty percent off your order if you um, go over three hundred dollars you get thirty percent off your order value so that means um, buy more save more what they have done quite cleverly here is, and you'll see that here if I add to the cart, and uh, let's just go back to the product page and refresh that, and just keep shopping. So I have something in, in the cart now, and let's see, it will tell me up here how far I'm away from free shipping. Um, so that is sort of a motivator that you can use either on this 
um, page or on the card page um, to motivate people and to remind people to add more to the card to get free shipping. If I add more to the card here, this will change. Though you see here, I have two items there. And then if I continue shopping, you will see up here, this will change as well. So it will then take, tell me that I already have free shipping um, and that I need to add another $24 um, to get a 20% discount. So this discount letter works quite well. Um, you just try to get people from basically one step of the letter to the next one to buy more and to save more. A very, very smart way to do that. Okay, let's go to Amazon. Everyone knows Amazon and Amazon is very good in a lot of things. So, and here for instance is in um, cross-selling. So you see here, um, I'm interested in this um, webcam or whatever it is. And um, so they offer me is I can have the webcam and I can add as a logical um, because it doesn't come with it and I need it, a uh, log logical item to add to the card, I get this kind of bundle where I have the camera and the SD card. Um, or I take the starter kit, uh, which has other things involved. Or I just take two cameras and save money in the process. Um, or I take another two plugs that I might need for that. So they are quite smart in just adding more things. Um, they're just saying, okay, uh, the camera, camera itself is not all I need. Um, so let me add with just one click to make it very simple with a bundle, um, the camera and the SD card. So this is cross-selling and to a certain degree upselling, um, which is kind of fluent in that way. Um, but Amazon does that quite well. And if you can do that with your product, you will be for sure able to increase your average order value. So now another way to do an upsell is um, not only on the product page, but you can do it also on the card page, which then is called the in-card upsell. Let me show you this on this example. Um, this is a demo store. So let's say I'm interested in these sunglasses and I want to add them to the card. And when I add the card, the card opens here and you see up here it offers me a case for my new sunglasses. So basically saying you, you buy a sunglasses would be a good idea to have this case as well. So it shows the app right here. So you can just then simply add it to the card up here and then go to checkout. So a very simple way um, to, to add more related items to the card uh, with the option to um, add it to the order. So the next one is a post-purchase upsell. So basically somebody has bought something from you already, went through the whole checkout process, and now has ended up on your order confirmation page. So basically it says, thank you, Emily, for your order. This is your order number, blah, blah, blah. Um, here's just a summary of what you have just ordered and so on and so forth. All the shipping information, everything is here. But also they offer you here um, a couple of other products um, and that might be related or with a discount. You see, get if you buy this, for instance, you get it 30 percent off now. Um, so you say, oh, that's that's great. So um, that might be actually a perfect item um, to add from what I just ordered. And you click here and some of these apps um, for Shopify, for instance, you don't need to add the um, payment details again. So basically just pay now. And that's it. And then that uh, will be automatically processed. Um, the idea behind that is that somebody who just bought something um, is sort of an emotional high and the likelihood that they will buy more is, is, is very high. So you just try to sell them more at that right, right moment. Um, and um, yeah, that's a way to, to do another upsell. Okay, last example. It's a bit slow. Um, would be buy one, get one, uh, or get one free, get one 50% off. You see it down here. That's quite common. So basically, um, the seller wants you to buy more of the same item. Um, so you say, okay, um, one of 34.99, uh, but if I buy a second one, I get 50% off. Well, that can be 75% um, off uh, and so on and so forth. And also they say you get free shipping on orders over $49. Um, and then down here, they do the same. Um, as we said before, they do sort of a recurrent order process. So they say, okay, and if you become a subscriber and you get it delivered every 30 days, you get another 10% off and free shipping. 
So that can be then actually the buy one, get one 50% off and then uh, get subscriber, get another 10% off and get free shipping. So there's a lot of um, different ways on this page already on how to increase um, the, the order value and how to um, get your customer to buy more. So that would be bringing us back to lifetime um, value of a customer, but to increase the order um, volume is buy one, get one for 50% off. Um, that would just increase in a higher average order value. So that's it for the average order value. And just now let's continue. Now I have shown you four ways in how you can increase um, your orders, your revenue, your traffic and so on to force and make more business. I want to give you another bonus. Page speed matters. What does that mean? Um, if your website is slower, does not work on all devices on browsers obviously won't convert. If somebody has to wait too long for the website to load, um, they will go somewhere else. Um, people are very impatient and um, especially if you have technical issues uh, that you probably not know about it. Um, there is many different browsers obviously. Um, you can have Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Opera, and so on and so forth, Safari. So you have all these browsers, but not only you have the browsers, you have these browsers in many, many, many different versions. Um, I think Chrome is on version 76 and there's a new version coming out every week. Now your website might load just fine on your screen, on your browser with your internet connection. But that does not mean that your website also works very nicely on possibly the same browser, but on a different operating system, um, say Apple or Windows or Linux or whatever you have there. Um, the same is that it might not work on a um, Opera or Safari browser. And you don't know because you don't have that. You don't have an Apple, you can't use Safari, so um, you can't really do a test. And then it might be that on um, Chrome 76, it does work perfectly well, but so many people have older versions and on Chrome 60, for some reasons, your website is either not working or the layout does not work or it's just slow loading. Um, so now you have multiple variants that you have to look into. There's a way to do that. Um, I teach that in, in my um, coaching session to find out is like, where's your website at this point of time and where are you losing? Um, so there might be very, a very few very quick gains um, if you look into the right spots and um, that might make a huge difference for you. I will give you an example. Amazon, for, um, for instance, found out that one second of load time lag uh, would cost them 1.6 billion US dollars in sales per year. That means that Amazon site a product page would be just one second slower in loading than it is normally. They're losing out big money. Walmart did the same test or did also test and they found out that one second delay in page response can result in a 7% reduction in conversion. So always keep that in mind. That makes a huge difference how fast your website is. 40% of all users will abandon a web page if it takes more than three seconds to load. Now, if you have a video, if you have a huge graphic that is not optimized and so on and so forth, three seconds is easily to reach. So your website might take five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds to load. That means with every second more, you're losing more traffic. If your website is on five, six sec seconds, you lose 90% of all users before they actually see your website. They will just not wait. There's a number of free tools out there that you can use. Um, you can go to tools.pingdom.com or you can go to gtmetrics.com and just put in your URL and see what the results are. And um, that will give you an idea on how fast or how slow your website is, your store is. And um, will it give you a first indication if you need to look into that matter a little bit more um, to find out is how you need to optimize your website and um, to get the most of it and just to keep your um, visitors on the site or actually get them on the site and not leaving them before they see the site. Um, something in my, in my coaching that I go uh, in depth into um, so stick with me on that one I hope that helped and now let's continue in the presentation so I've just shown you part of the exact blueprint I use to achieve great results for my coaching clients let me ask you did I earn the right to spend a few minutes talking about on how I can work with you together to improve your business let me introduce the grow your business mastermind coaching program to you if you're like most people, you might try to figure out on your own 
that's very time consuming, it's very draining, um, so it takes just a long time. Um, or you might try to hire a marketing agency. Um, that's one way to do it. Um, but a marketing agency will be very expensive. They charge an average of $3,000 per month or more or just on a retainer fee. There's no guarantees. They serve many clients at the same time. So that's the other option that you can go. Um, but I have shown you the exact system I've personally used to make my e-commerce business into a seven-figure business. So clearly um, it, it works. And if you'd like me to help you with a customized plan and to implement everything we have gone over, I would be honored. Rather than spending years working it out on yourself, um, you have someone getting you there faster. You learn the easiest and fastest way to get your business making more cash with your digital marketing strategy. Just imagine you wake up every morning to new leads and sales while an automated marketing system has done the work. You no longer have to stress out about the marketing tools that burn through your budget and leave you with no return on investment. You can transform your digital marketing to a point where you finally have time for other aspects of your business or just for yourself, family, friends, whatever. You finally have clarity on how to use marketing to accomplish your goals. I'll help to transform your digital marketing so you can enjoy your growing business. That's my promise to you. What makes the program different? different? It's for business owners and executives taught by a business owner. I've been through all of that myself. Um, I concentrate on strategy and operations, not on tricks and sleaze that might work, but that might not work in three weeks' time anymore. You will get a personal and interactive feedback from me, and I'm focused 100% of action and return investment. First learn, understand why we do something, and then we execute. So here's what you're getting when you invest in my coaching program. I will take you from where you are right now and to where you want to be with your digital marketing and generate new growth to your business. In detail, I will work one-on-one -on -one with you to identify your short-term goals. I will perform a full audit of your current digital presence. We will identify the three primary drivers of real growth for your business. We will create a step-by-step -step strategic action plan for your business and then create a killer combination of growth, marketing and sales strategies for your online marketing, for your business. We optimize your customer's journey, we gain more traffic, um, get better conversions, higher conversions, we boost your sales and make more money in the process. My goal to you, or my goal overall is very simple. Everything I do is focused on return on investment. If I'm not making you money, I'm not happy. So whether you have an online business or offline business with an online presence, or you have a business that's 100% online, the Grow Your Business Mastermind program can help you to grow your business, generate more leads and convert them into sales. You might ask yourself, how much is the Grow Your Business Mastermind program? So here's the deal on your investment today. You're getting the four full four months Grow Your Business Mastermind one-to-one -one coaching program for just 4,997 US dollars. So that's a full four months program. Normally, with everything that's in that program, it would easily cost more than $12,000. Um, and as a bonus, you get my personal files, my personal system, swipe files, resources, and workflow to help you stay organized and productive. Only that is a $1,500 value. And I give you a guarantee, and that's seldom that you get that in the coaching world. Uh, client satisfaction is my number one goal. I stand 100% behind my Grow Your Business coaching program. I'll guarantee you to get results and that you'll be able to make back what you have invested in your business coaching within 16 weeks of coaching um, or your coaching is free. Um, even if you have done your part in good faith, having all, all the assignments, uh, have attended all coaching calls, but you're still not satisfied and not seeing the results you want by week 16, after four months, I will coach you for free until you get the results, no questions asked. So you have nothing to lose, everything to gain. Think about four months from now when you could be celebrating your growing business. So the question is, when does it start? The Grow Your Business Mastermind program is always open, but I only have limited seating. Right now I have only three spots open. Um, these spots will fill up quickly. I can't guarantee how long it will be until there's room for, in my program for more clients. Um, I personally screen every applicant myself because I want to make sure that you're the right fit for the program and I can deliver on your goals. So it's time to make a decision. So um, you have two choices here. 
So number one, you can keep doing what you're doing. You can sit and hope clients would show up. You can try out new marketing strategies on your own. Maybe spending hours on social media, um, can spend more money on things that don't work. Or you can fight for everyone's attention online. Um, it just makes me um, tired listening to all of this. Um, or you can take the easy path. Um, easy pass is um, just book a free st strategy call with me and um, you can talk to me on the phone um, for 30, hour, uh, 30 minutes and um, we just go through your business and um, see if we're a good fit together. So that's completely free and um, the easiest way to do that is you go to my website. That's www.growyourbusinessmastermind.com and um, you have all the information about the program there and then you just apply there um, you have to fill out a little a form with a couple of questions and then you will see my calendar and you can book the day and time when you want to talk to me so that's very straightforward and i'm really looking forward to talk to you um, one more thing um, is that the bonus will be sent out to your email address and um, you also will get a um, the slides of today um, delivered to your email address so watch your your inbox and um, i can't wait to hear from you and um, hopefully yeah we can grow your business together so thanks so much again for for being here i'm sticking to the end um, i'll hope to see you on the free strategy call and thanks so much and bye bye